All street law lessons are based on two basic ideas. Students talk themselves to understanding, and students should be doing the heavy intellectual lifting in class. When you observe a street law class, you should be able to observe these basic ideas in action. The deliberation discussion strategy is a powerful interactive strategy to support civil discourse about contested public issues. To prepare for a deliberation, be sure to copy handouts A, B, C, and D for students. Additionally, be sure to copy the street law deliberation reading for the topic students will be discussing. You may also wish to provide students with a number of supplemental deliberation topic resources, including a glossary, visuals, quotes, social-emotional learning supports, and other suggested resources. Desks should be arranged to accommodate students working in small cooperative groups, ideally of four and of no more than six to a group. A deliberation involves eight steps. The first step is to introduce students to the deliberative process. Handout A supports this step, which will help students answer the questions, what is deliberation? Why do we deliberate? What is the process for a deliberation? And what norms should we follow? The next step is for students to carefully read the deliberation text. Each deliberation reading has been carefully constructed to provide balanced arguments. While reading, students should identify confusing terms and note interesting facts or ideas. The third step is clarification of the topic and reading. During this time, define and discuss important vocabulary terms as a whole class. If needed, ask clarifying questions to be sure students understand the main ideas from the text. Steps 4 through 6 are where students deliberate the question in small groups. During this time, if students have not already moved to small groups of four facing each other, they should move now. Once in their small groups, assign two students per group to take the yes side of the deliberation question first, and the other to take the no side of the deliberation question first. If you're facing me, everybody wave if you're facing me. Hi. You're on the yes team, which means you're going to be arguing that voting should be compulsory in the United States. Okay, so now that brings us to our no team. Everyone facing away from me, stay facing away from me, but wave. Wave at the wall. Beautiful. Thank you very much. So you're all no's. Can you look at your partners and acknowledge that you're both no's? In step four, two of the four students work as a team to select the two most compelling reasons from the yes side of the deliberation reading. The other two students in the group work together to select the two most compelling reasons from the no side of the deliberation reading. When both sides are prepared, they share their two reasons with the other pair. Each pair should also record notes on handout B as the other side presents. For step five, the pairs of students in small groups reverse position, with the yes side now becoming the no side, and the no side now becoming the yes side. In their new positions, each pair works together to select the one best reason they heard from the other pair and also adds one additional compelling reason from the reading to support their new positions. When both sides are prepared, they share their reasons with the other pair and record notes. In step six, the students drop their assigned roles and deliberate the question in their small groups. First, students should share their personal opinions about the deliberation question based on evidence and logic. Next, the group should search for possible areas of consensus, either on the deliberation question itself or on a topic related to the deliberation question that arose during the discussion. During this time, students can use handout C as a guide. Can I get a couple of you to share your thoughts on compulsory voting and whether or not the United States should have compulsory voting? Step seven brings all small groups back together as a whole class to discuss the deliberation and gain deeper insight into the topic and the deliberative process. Finally, in step eight, students are given a few moments to quietly reflect individually on the process and provide feedback. Handout D supports this step in the process. Street Law has developed teaching materials along with topic readings and resources for using the deliberation discussion activity. These materials are available on the Street Law website.